Alright guys, so welcome back to another episode of Jai Fishing Moment. There's something on my face. Okay. Yeah, so today we are at Pongo Waterfront. The time now is about 9 o'clock. And we are fishing an uh, outgoing tide. So we have 3 rods, eh, 4 rods to catch fish, 1 rod to try for crab if there's anything. Yeah, so we hope we will get something. We are not very sure yeah, about today. The tide is very weird. Bait for today is sotong and octopus and some frozen kuning. Yeah, some fish. Actually, I don't even think it's kuning. I think it's sick lah. Yeah. So, some bait fish ah. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll get fishing. Update you guys later. Yeah, so, today is uh, Friday, October 8th. Yeah, just swivel to the sinker, side six sinker. The mesh bag with some old sotong inside, and then we have our mesh net. So, uh, just cast it out. This one need to check. Need to measure. Sure. Give the bottom one. Okay. This one way. This one is small. Yeah, I don't know why there's some weird worm thing on the shell. So anyway, yeah lah. We'll just let it go. Oh, it ran all the way there. Yeah, it's called a thunder crab or rock crab. Yeah, my own many P Hawiki. So this one is edible. The pincers are edible, the rest of the crab is poisonous. So yeah, do be careful. They are usually very docile, means yeah, like now I'm holding it, it just curls up and it doesn't do anything to me. Lah. But when it's in the crab net when I'm trying to take it out, it can react quite violently. Yeah, and when it pinch you, uh, it's really, really, very, very painful. Yeah, that's why it's called the thunder crab. Cause local legend is that once it pinch you, it will not let go until it hear the sound of thunder. Yeah, so that's where the name comes from. Uh. Other than that, this crab has the tendency to grab onto rocks and to hide in rocks after they are caught. Yeah, so sometimes you might find your net sun caught or what. It might be because of this guy. Yeah, so this one is a small one. You just let it go. Anyway, you don't need it. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so the crabs have been very very annoying. Yeah, they have been on our rods no matter how far we cast, how far or how near, they've been eating our bait. Uh. So we just made a decision to change some more of our rods to uh, crab nets and hopefully we'll get some crabs. Uh. Yeah, better than better than just letting them steal our bait. Uh. Yep, so we'll try with the crab nets. Hopefully, we'll get some more crabs. Yeah. Seems like there's a bit of pool. <laughs> a bit of weight on the other end. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, missing one pincer. Oh, it's not fighting now. Quite common uh, for yeah, this this time in their meeting. He just heal only. Fighting. 
fighting and stuff, and then they lose their pizzas. The bottom one is He's done drop pincer before. If you look at the this pincer, it's a lot smaller oh, and yes, it's yeah. uh, misaligned. Yeah, so it doesn't close properly. So this is what happens when they actually regrow their pincer after they drop it. So sometimes it doesn't go back properly. Yeah. So it's yeah misaligned. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. Yeah. Premium crab with eggs. Time to let it go. Still a bit small, so just let it go. Bring in, yeah. bring in something heavy. Which what? what? Suspect it's a crab. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Oh. It's a oh. <laughs> hook in the peddler. Yeah, size crab. Okay, nice. time to get it up. Yeah, so you just hook at the hind leg. Yeah, here the inter flipper. Over there. Quite a fat one. Uh. Yeah, this is quite a fat female. Kino it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it never drop off. Most of the time it's a hook, hook, hook. Sounds beastly, okay, we can do something about it. Alright, guys, so total CR for now is just crabs. There have been about five or six crabs and many, many mosquitoes. So just a brief uh, intro, not intro, a brief description of the crabs you're catching. These are your standard uh, flower crabs. You can find them at the market pretty easily. Yeah, so the species is actually Portunus pelagicus. Yeah, so the males have a very nice uh, flower flower pattern, uh, blue color. That's why they're called flower crabs. So those you see in the market are actually mostly males. La. And the females have a duller, like brownish color to their shells. Yeah, and some of them will have eggs. Uh. So, the other method to tell apart males and females, I believe I've gone through quite a few times. Yeah, the male is the sharp one, the female is the round one. Yeah, so those are actually pretty good to steam or to cook soup or to chili, I think. Yeah, although chili crab usually people use uh, mud crab. Yeah, so anyway, we'll keep fishing and yeah, update you guys again later. Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, what the? Okay. 
Alright guys, so I just got pinched by a thunder crab. Yeah, I I don't know lah. Yeah, I just yeah I just screwed up lah. So anyway, it's here. I don't know if you guys can see properly. Yeah, okay, probably cannot lah. It's a bit blur. But yeah, it's starting to swell up a little bit. Cause for thunder crab, they are different from flower crab in the sense that. When they pinch, they actually have a lot more crushing pressure than a flower crab, which is more for which is more like a cutting uh, pressure like, rather than a crushing pressure. So yeah, for thunder crab, you can expect that the wound will not just bleed; it will also or tear or bruise. Yeah, so it will bruise for a while la. And by the way, the myth is not true la. They do let go without the sound of thunder. <laughs> okay, so if you guys get if ever get Pinched by a thunder crab. Okay. Uh, advice is, don't fight the crab. Uh. Don't try to force the pin to open. You'll just make it pinch even harder. Yeah. You just just deal with the pain. Let it let go on its own. Hopefully, you'll let go. Okay. If you are desperate enough, you can break the claw off and try and open it. But uh, it's best not to, uh, Cause once you break the claw off, the muscles will be stuck in that pinching position yeah so it's a bit more difficult to force it open yeah so if you can just let it let go on its own yeah even though it hurts yeah yeah so that was a mistake for me you keep fishing keep crabbing update you guys later Guys, so the time now is 12.30, we've come to the end of our short short station. There is zero fish today. Yes, unfortunately, zero, absolutely zero. No duri, no usat, no no nothing, nothing, just go song. Okay, there was only one bite the whole session and I dropped it. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, today is just crabs. After a while even the crabs uh stopped. Uh. I think it's because of the quiet tide. So yeah, it was a risky, it was a risky day, and okay lah. Considering we had we had total about nine or ten crabs, I think okay lah, enough lah. Yeah, so it's time to call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys in the next episode.